I think about color, I really think about my memories. I think about uh, the colors that, that surrounded me when I was growing up. I know that my favorite dress when I was five was blue and white with little strawberries on it. I remember the colors of the summer, you know, the colors of going to Cape Cod, the, the colors of the garden. I remember the, the colors of the artwork that we were surrounded by and that um, when we went to visit the museums. And so for me, color is less about the actual subject, but actually about what sort of um, attracts me and draws me in. It's very emotional. It's good energy. You know, you'll always see me in, with something red on, especially in New York City where gray is the new black. Oh, you know, it's just depressing. So um, I think that uh, color is, is about energy, memory, and making pe people really feel like they're alive. And so in photography too, you know, we see that in terms of, you know, how exciting it is to use color and to work with it. What's important as, a, as an educator is for uh, people to understand the emotional impact of their, the images that they're making. Memory colors and emotion and mood all affect one another. I mean, the saying of being green with envy or, you know, getting red and being outraged you know, that's not a new concept. That's something that people have felt. And so I think it's very important to understand where these color emotions come from, understanding the uh, art history, the science of color, the emotional impact of color is going to make their images stronger and stronger. And, you know, if we're really honest, we're interpreting what we're seeing. You know, when I, when I look at the image in the with my naked eye, and then with my camera, and then with software, those are three completely different experiences. Um, and what I can do with the software is, I can really create the image that I was feeling, that I'm remembering. It has very little to do with actually what I shot. And because I know that my emotions or how much sleep I got are gonna influence the color, I literally have a color checker in, like every bag I own. But what that's helping me do is, is have that a memory, have a memory color, have a reference in a scene that I can then use to start my interpretation. Because what I see is I always like starting with a known reference and then interpreting it and then going further. And if I don't have that reference, I get very, very uneasy. Each image is too different. And so I like starting with a known reference with the memory color and then working from there. So I use the color checker constantly. I mean, I have literally been in the subway with iPhone and color checker. I think it's great. That's what, that's, I literally have it with me all the time. Mm -hmm.